Olivia for Signal by Sony, and today we have Kenta from Sony's Digital Imaging Group. Welcome, Kenta. Thank you very much. Now, we have two brand new items. Uh, these are totally different than anything mm -hmm. I've really ever seen before. Tell us about what we're looking at. Yes, so these are really crazy products. These are basically lens-style cameras. If I get this right, mm -hmm. this is not only a lens, but there's also a camera within this. Yeah, and where it really shines is the ability to connect your phone seamlessly. So whatever you take photos of, it also streams it to your smartphone. I see. And then you can so instantly share. Photo or video. Correct, that's correct, yeah. Okay, what are the differences between the two of them? Sure, yeah. So what I have here, the taller one, mm -hmm. this is the QX100. It's an amazing uh, lens style camera because um, it's exactly the same as an RX100 Mark II, but in this uh, form factor. In the sense of the sensor yes. and the processor? Yes, correct. So okay. image sensor, it's a one inch sensor okay. and it's an XMOR. It takes really great pictures in low light. professional low light exactly. uh, pictures with this, okay? And then the lens too, uh, it's f1.8, so extremely wow. bright okay. as well. And then what we have here is the QX10. Mm -hmm. So um, this one has a smaller image sensor, but you can have 10x zoom. Okay, 10x zoom, and with that level of zoom, do we have an image stabilization or a steady shot feature mm -hmm. on this? Yeah, it's a steady shot, it's built inside. Okay. It also has the image sensor built in, its own separate battery, and a memory stick as well. Okay, what's the battery life on both of these? These are good for about 200 shots. Okay, so let's go ahead and just walk through mm -hmm. how to pair the camera lens with your actual phone. Sure, yeah. So these are compatible with both iPhone and Android. So if your phone has NFC capabilities mm -hmm. like your um, Xperia, yep. then you can just touch. Correct. Um, and now with the iPhone, that doesn't have NFC yet. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just gonna use the sure. Wi-Fi network. Correct. Okay. So you turn it on, good. Yes. And there you go. You okay. have live view on your screen. So now I have sort of an ad hoc network here mm -hmm. uh, with my Wi-Fi and I have a remote viewfinder. Correct, yeah. Okay, now using the Play Memories mobile app, I'm able to basically see exactly what I'm seeing with the lens, camera, in real time. And we can actually control the exposure, mm -hmm. intelligent, superior, program auto, uh, and then also we can actually uh, zoom. Correct, yeah. So we can go wide uh, on this, and then of course trigger, start, stop. Yep. So that is, that's really great. And you know, again, this actually hooks onto the phone. Yep. So, so we don't need this it. to always be remote. So yep. it looks like this attaches directly to your mobile device, mm -hmm. and then you can use it like this as well. So that also means that you don't need these to be touching exactly. in order to see it. Technically, because you don't need to have this on your phone, depending upon what you're actually gonna be using this camera lens for, really the possibilities are endless. Now, how far can the camera lens be from your actual mobile device before we lose mm -hmm. the signal? Yeah, that's a common question that we get. Um, mm -hmm. It depends on the situation. So if you have a lot of walls between, mm -hmm. then it might limit it, but generally 15 to 30 feet. That's great. So really great remote features, you know, because there is sort of a limitation mm -hmm. on how far the holders spread, mm -hmm. does that mean that it's either compatible with a tablet no, or no, not? So this is this back plate is just for your convenience, mm -hmm. you know, if you wanted to attach it to your smartphone. Uh -huh. You can actually take this off right here and you can um, pair it with your tablet or your Android tablet and uh, do the same things. As long as it accepts that app, then it'll be compatible. Correct, yeah. Excellent. Okay, now that we're all connected, can you take us through why somebody would want a lens style camera like this with their mobile device? Sure, yeah. So both of these models, they have their internal you know, battery and also their internal memory. So you can um, put in your micro SD card. The advantage is it's saving it to the lens style camera and also the smartphone as well at the same time. Okay, right? so let's go ahead and attach this guy sure, on yeah. there. So because it's in your gallery or your um, film strip, uh, if you're using an iPhone, you can easily access that image that you shot on this camera and use it to uh, to upload it to Facebook or use it for Instagram. Instagram exactly. You know? So all of your social media outlets. Mm -hmm. So why don't you try this out? All right. So we'll take a picture. Let's get right. one of you. All right. Okay. So we have our picture there and we're just gonna send it to either Facebook or Instagram. Sure. And it's yeah. that easy. Correct. But now we have the professional look 
mm -hmm. for professional mobile shooters. Would you consider this an accessory for your phone? Not really, no. I wouldn't consider this a, a, as an accessory. It looks like a lens, but right. inside of it, you have the image sensor, the processor, it also has a battery and a memory stick, so it's really a standalone camera. Yeah, so it's more like a partner yes. to the phone. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the pricing and the availability of sure. these. Sure. So the first one, um, we have um, the QX10. Okay. This comes in black and white as well, so what you see here is the white version. Right. This is about 250 bucks. And the black and the white are both the same price point? Correct, $250. Okay. And what about the QX100? Yes, this one, um, remember, it's the XMOR R uh, sensor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's exactly the same as the X RX100 Mark II, but this will be available for about $500. Okay, $500. And does it come in the black and the white? No, this is black only. Black only. Both of them are going to be available um, early fall. All right, thank you, Kenta. Informative as always. Now, if you guys have any questions on these lens-style cameras, you can visit youtube.com slash signal.